what to do if you are facing this error when trying to start MySQL. So in my case, I just, uh, my computer restarted itself after the latest Windows uh, 10 update. And when trying to start XAMPP, Apache is starting fine, but MySQL and PHP, my admin is not starting anymore. I get this error, error MySQL shutdown unexpectedly. This might be due to a block port, missing dependencies, improper privileges, crash, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so just to show you, when I try to start it, what's happening, it tries to start and I get an error. It asks me to check the logs. And if I check the logs, this is uh, this is what I get. So if I get go to the end, to the uh, last uh, start here at 654, it's always the same. So I get this error, mutexes and rvlogs use Windows, blah, blah, blah. You haven't mixed. I get this error. So actually, uh, there are probably uh, two ways to fix this. Um, uh, there are probably two solutions depending on your exact problem. A first solution could be to go to config, to go to my.ini here and simply uh, change the port here uh, twice. You have to change it here and there. Change the port to another number in case the, the port is somehow already used by your Windows. But uh, in my case, that's not the solution. I tried it and it's not the solution. So the other solution actually is to go uh, to your uh, C folder to XMPP MySQL and here. So first of all, uh, go to C XMPP MySQL here. Make a copy of your uh, current data folder just in case. So up, I take it, Control C, Control V. I uh, just make a backup and then go to this backup folder, select all except IB data one copy, paste it in data folder. So replace all the files, of course. And uh, so now, so these are the, these are the errors I get because uh, PHP, my admin cannot start because Apache is started so I can access the PHP files, but PHP, my admin cannot access the database because the database is not started. So I just copied the back, backup uh, to the data folder and let's try to start it again. It's thinking, thinking, thinking. And as you can see, it is now working. So I can go back to my PHP, my admin, click on retry to connect. And hey, it is it's connected. I have access to my database. So double check that uh, the latest um, records that you inserted are there. And that's it. You are done. You have uh, access again to your uh, PHP, uh, PHP, my admin and uh, uh, MySQL. So uh, if this was useful to you, please uh, comment, uh, share it. And uh, thanks for your attention.